Service Teardown, HP EliteBook X360 1040 G5 Notebook PC. Removal. Remove the six 5mm T5 Torx head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Carefully separate the edges of the base enclosure from the top cover. Remove the base enclosure. Reverse this procedure to install the base enclosure. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure. Warning, to avoid personal injury and damage to the product, use extreme care not to puncture, twist, or crack the battery. An internal puncture or rupture to the battery has the potential to cause a short, which may result in a thermal event. Removal. Disconnect the battery from its connector on the motherboard. Remove the five 3mm P0 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Using both hands, lift the battery off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the battery. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the speaker cable for later replacement. Disconnect the speaker cable from its connector on the motherboard. Remove the speaker cable from the adhesive tape on the touchpad board. Remove the four 2.5mm P0 Phillips head screws that secure the speakers to the top cover. Lift the speakers off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the speakers. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Remove the two 2.5mm P0 Phillips head screws that secure the right speakers to the top cover. Lift the right speakers off of the alignment pins on the top cover and set aside. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the fingerprint reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the fingerprint reader board ribbon cable from the fingerprint reader board. Remove the 2.5mm P0 Phillips head screw that secures the fingerprint reader board bracket to the top cover. Slide the fingerprint reader board bracket out from under the retention tabs on the top cover and remove. Lift the fingerprint reader board out of the cutout in the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the fingerprint reader board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and speakers. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable from the touchpad board. Remove the NFC antenna cable from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Peel back the retention tape and use minimal force to lift the locking bar up on the NFC antenna ZIF connector and disconnect the NFC antenna cable from the NFC board. Remove the six 2.5mm P0 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad board to the top cover. Lift the touchpad board off of the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the touchpad board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Peel back the retention tape and use minimal force to lift the locking bar up on the NFC antenna ZIF connector and disconnect the NFC antenna cable from the NFC board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the NFC board ZIF connector and disconnect the NFC board ribbon cable from the NFC board. Carefully separate the NFC board from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover and remove. 
reverse this procedure to install the NFC board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Disconnect the left fan from its connector on the motherboard. Remove the wireless antenna cables from the routing channel that secure them to the right fan. Disconnect the right fan from its connector on the motherboard. Loosen the six captive P0 Phillips head screws that secure the fans to the motherboard. Remove the mylar that covers the heatsink. Note, the heatsink has numbers adjacent to the following four screws. Loosen the four captive P0 Phillips head screws that secure the heatsink over the processor components in numerical order. Note, due to the adhesive quality of the thermal grease located between the heatsink and processor components, it may be necessary to move the heatsink from side to side to detach it from the motherboard. Carefully lift the fan slash heatsink assembly off of the motherboard and remove. Note, before replacing the heatsink, the thermal grease should be replaced. The thermal grease should be replaced every time the heatsink is removed. Reverse this procedure to install the fan slash heatsink assembly. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Peel back the shielding that covers the power button board ZIF connector on the motherboard. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board ZIF connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the motherboard. Slide the plastic spacer up and out from between the power button board and motherboard. Slide the power button out of the cutout in the top cover and remove the power button board from the unit. Reverse this procedure to install the power button board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Carefully insert a non-metallic tool into the notch in the lower right corner of the motherboard and partially eject the SIM card dummy from the motherboard. Slide the SIM card dummy out of the cutout in the top cover and remove. Important: Make careful note of the routing of all cables for later replacement. Caution: Use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cables from the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully disconnect the wireless antenna LAN cables from the wireless LAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Remove the wireless antenna cables from the routing channel that secure them to the right fan. Disconnect the following cables from the motherboard. Webcam cable, fingerprint reader ribbon cable, NFC ribbon cable, keyboard ribbon cable, Keyboard backlight ribbon cable, touchpad board ribbon cable, speaker cable, power button board ribbon cable, display panel cable, audio board ribbon cable. Remove the five 3mm P0 Phillips head screws that secure the motherboard to the top cover. Remove the two 5mm P0 Phillips head screws that secure the motherboard to the top cover. Loosen the six captive P0 Phillips head screws that secure the fans to the top cover. Carefully lift the front edge of the motherboard off of the alignment pins and slide the rear edge out from under the lip on the top cover. Remove the motherboard. Note, if you are installing a new motherboard, Remove the following from the old motherboard and install onto the new motherboard. Heat sink slash fan assembly, M.2 solid state drive. Reverse this procedure to install the motherboard. Important, after motherboard replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings, Calibrating the audio outputs.
Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and motherboard. Removal. Remove the 3mm P0 Phillips head screw that secures the fingerprint reader board bracket to the top cover. Slide the audio board connector out of the cutout in the top cover and remove the audio board from the unit. Reverse this procedure to install the audio board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and motherboard. Removal. Open the display panel assembly and rotate it approximately 270 degrees. While supporting the display panel assembly, remove the six 6mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the display panel hinges to the top cover. Carefully slide the display panel hinges out from underneath the lip on the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the display panel assembly.